Alright, I think we are about ready. Yeah. Here, hold on, let me make sure. Alright, let me... Pull this up very quick. Alright. So... I think I'm gonna quickly go through the achievements we got last stream, or what we've gotten so far for Dragon Quest II, before we actually get started again. We have not crashed or anything, so that's all good. Alright, hold on, let me quick, let's quickly go through, um... Obviously we got all the Dragon Quest 1, so let's just skip over to the Dragon Quest 2 stuff, so... Oh, basically open the first chest, get the 50 gold and the copper sword. Recruit the prince. Obtain the mirror of Ra, and then turn the princess, you know, back to a human. Obtain the wind mantle. Defeat the gremlins and get the ship. Obtain the sword of Erdrick. Talk to the king, the spirit of king of the king of Moonbrook with the princess in your party. And attain your puff puff. That's what we got so far. So, let's continue where we left off. All right. Oh yeah, they actually just outright tell you how much experience you need when you load up again. Anyway. So, we kind of did some exploring a little bit. We are at a point where we kind of just need to find a new town. We went to Charlock, and we found the Sword of Erdrick. And there's a room with a bunch of treasure, but we can't do anything. We can't get to it because we don't have a key. We have two leads right now. There's a monolith to the southwest of Alifgard that we could take that brings us to a teleport portal and we try going through there. Wait, how much gold do I have? Okay, I figured. The other option, we were told about a sunken ship. Let's see if we can find that. It might be better to maybe try to explore around with the ship. Uh, there's only one enemy. I don't think we need to do anything like sleep. Maybe I should have put him to sleep. Nope. Okay. We're good. We found an... We found an iron helmet? Hold on. Uh... I don't have to buy an iron helmet. I wonder what the odds are of getting that. Sword of Verdric, Evasion Clothes, Steel Shield, Iron Helm. No accessory yet. I'm still I still don't have the Banishing Bell. Ah, Spectres. Okay. I can try sleep. Good. That worked out. Actually, are specters like the weak variants? Maybe. I think we fought specters earlier. I don't remember. Ah, sea slugs and numbness jellyfish. Hmm. Let's get rid of the jellyfish first and let's see if I can put the sea slugs to sleep. Didn't work, didn't work, didn't work. Okay. It only worked on one, so it's not a reliable way to deal with sea slugs. Alright. Right, I'm the only one awake. Hmm. Yeah, 
we're doing okay, though. This ain't that bad. Yeah, just the sea slugs now. Again, the Banishing Bell only works on the sleep spell. It doesn't work on stuff like the sweet powder, stuff like that. It works on the spell itself. So that's why we kind of easily fell asleep from these guys. Uh, MP by two. Huh. Well, we got repel. That's something. Alright, I'd rather get rid of the Medusa Ball. There we go. That's good. And these guys are just not much of a threat. Not even worth using, like, Sizz to deal with them. Okay, there we go. I am awake. I just noticed. One more. Eh, Infernos would have made this go faster for sure. But they weren't that much of a threat. Alright. We were told about a sunken ship. Uh, random encounters. Wait, hold on. Okay. Surround, I don't think will help. Let's just use Infernos. This works out. Oh. What do you mean it's not affected on them? Molly, you're fine. She's growling at the mailman. That's affecting the neighbor's place. And he's left. Yeah, see, you're fine. I'm gonna need to use heal more. There we go. Get rid of the numbness jellyfish. Head north. Alright. Um, actually, yeah, let's focus on that. And I'll try Infernos on Sea Slugs again. Wasn't effective. Two out of three is pretty good, honestly. Actually, let's get heal more right now. There we go. I thought return, it worked like zoom, where you get to choose what place to go to, but maybe that only works with the Wind of Chimera. And return is just the last place you healed at. Level 14, strength by four, HP by one. Not that great of a level. So yeah, we were told, I believe it was in this town. We don't really need the inn, that's not why I'm here. Someone said something about a sunken ship. No, not you. Who said something about a sunken ship? World's quite, quite dangerous, no, nothing here. That was the vault up there, item shop. Oh, maybe it was an Owl of Guard. Oh yeah, I do want another one of these. Alright, hold on. Um, equip. Helm, Bell, Amulet. There we go. Alright. What, what's in the weapon shop again? Molly, what are you doing? 
You're being weird? Yeah, you are. You're being weird. Get your ball. Get your ball. Ball. Molly, ball. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I think we, we want to save for wizard. Save up for the wizard staff. That's what we're doing. Alright. I'm gonna throw my gold in the vault. That will be nice. There we go. That way, if I die, I don't lose it all. Someone said something about a, sin a sunken ship. But was that in... Alephgard? Yeah, okay, it might have been in Alephgard. Yeah, it can't just figure. Okay, yeah, it, the rumor might have been in Alephgard. But there was talk about a sunken ship. Oh. I forgot. Normally, the ship is parked where you last left it, unless you zoom. Or, but apparently, if you go back in this town, you have to go through this route. You have to do this. Kind of annoying, but... Eh. It's not the worst thing in the world. Alright. If we go north from here... Just keep going north from Alephgard. We should be able to find it. We should be able to find it. We should be able to find it. Where is it? We didn't find it. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. Let's get... Oh, I really gotta get rid of the Medusa Balls. I will use Infernos on the Jellyfish. Just to get rid of some of these enemies. Hmm, one's still alive. Oh, Kane's Uh, uh no, I'm asleep. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, get rid of the Medusa Ball first. Or try to. Now we get rid of the Sea Slug. How much gold am I going to get out of this? Maybe I just fought, like, a lot of guys. So that's probably what happened. Huh, nearly 300 gold. That's not bad. Okay, we didn't find the sunken ship. Gonna have to check back later. Uh Okay, I'll in I'll Infernos make this go faster. There we go. Look at that. Okay. This is where I want? Yes, this is where I want. Okay. Ooh, mud hands. You know what? I am going to Infernos. I don't think they could be put to sleep. I don't know how you would. And surround is not going to be that helpful, I don't think. The thing about mud hands is they just constantly call for help. And they could just surround you with numbers. But so far, they're kind of failing. Oh, uh, nope. Another one showed up. Yeah, right now it's War of Attrition. There we go. Is there one more? One more. Yeah, mud hands just constantly call for help. There we go. Alright. 
Let's heal Maria. Then I'll heal more Cain. There we go. We make it to a new town. Okay, this is the town I'm thinking of. So there are two missable achievements in this. One of them is, okay, one of them is basically the final, has to do with the final boss, but it is important in this town, do not sleep at the inn. Don't do it. Just make that clear. There's a reason why it won't, it will be explained later, <clears throat> eventually. How ominous, the look of death appears upon your faces. A very evil power is growing in you. Oh, how frightening. Welcome, Burnett. Welcome to Bur uh, Buranuel, the city of water. It is very dangerous to appro approach the prisoner. Well, I can't even talk to him, nor can I get close. So, and it is what it is. What are you doing, Molly? You being weird? No, my dog's being weird. I am traveling in search of the lightning sword. It seems that if a person who can't use magic uses it, they can call down lightning. Have you been to Durkondal? I believe it's in the southern sea, far south of Laurasia. Okay, that's the vault. We don't need that. Come to an item shop. What do you got? Eh. A weapon shop. Okay. Obviously, the wizard stuff from staff from Maria. Giant hammer, I can still consider. But then there's the dragon killer sword. And that is way... That is better than the sword of Erdrick. Let's be honest here. A sword that's specifically meant to slay dragons would have been better than Erdrick's sword. Just being completely honest here. Okay, steel sh Power shields. Those are really good. Both, the, both of them can equip it. Hold on. We don't have enough money to purchase that. If I remember... Don't power shields have a secondary effect? And it's a good one, too. Hold on. Um, let me look it up. I'm gonna look it up. It might be one of the better shield shields to have. Even if. Oh. Even if you have a better defensive shield, it might be better to actually hold on to one. Hold on, let me look. Yeah, okay. Yes, power shields have a secondary effect. If you use it as an item in battle, it casts mid heal. So, anyone could just cast a free heal on themselves. It is fantastic to have. Even if Maria can't equip it, even if you have a better shield for someone else, it's nice to have one in your inventory. I don't have a lottery ticket. How do I get more? Because getting the rewards of the lottery is actually an achievement thing. I hear that the leaf of the world tree has the power to revive the dead. Oh, really? That would be useful. Yeah, don't sleep at the inn. Don't do it. Oh, is that you, Scott? I've been holding a message from the king. It seems that the sun crest is located in the fire monolith. Where's the fire monolith? To be able to weave the angel's robe of water, you need the magic loom and the dew's yarn. However, only one of those garments can be made. I wish that one day divine punishment would rain down upon the evil priest Hargon. Uh, oh. I heard a rumor that the king of Durkondal Der is in possession of the moon crest. Yeah, we're getting a lot more information on the crests, aren't we? I 
hear that there is a world tree growing on the small island of the eastern sea. Also, I learned that it only drops its precious leaves one at a time. Even in this place, you can record your journey in this Scrolls of Honor. Okay. Might as well. It's sad that I can't use the inn right now. Yeah. For now, just do not use this inn. And again, I'm only saying this for achievement purposes, basically. Oh no, I can't escape! The girl's in the way! She's caught in the sign, can I even leave? Do I have to cast outside? Or does that only work in dungeons? Okay, no, I can leave. So we're gonna have to find another town. Let's see. If I cast Return, where does that bring me? Okay, it brings me back here because it's the last town you've been to. If I use a Wing of Chimera, it works the same way. I thought you could pick. I thought you I thought for sure you could pick where you wanted to go. Uh Maybe I'm I might be wrong on that then. Now let's get rid of Basilis. Um Sleep? I don't think sleep worked on them. Well, we'll try it. Okay, sleep doesn't work. Wow, they hate Maria. Hold on. Heal Maria, heal more. Pain. But yeah, we're definitely going to want to come back to this town. To buy equipment. So we want one wizard staff for Maria right now. So far, that's like the best thing we can do. But when it comes to uh, Kane, we don't need to get him another weapon. What we'll do is we'll get the Dragon Slayer from, uh, for, uh, for me, and then we can pass down the Sword of Erdrick to Kane. Alright, let's focus on getting rid of the Sea Slugs. I don't want to cast Return. Maybe Zoom was a Dragon Quest 3 thing. Actually. Maybe it was, because I, I thought for sure there was a Zoom spell. It, I honestly feel like there was. It can't be a later spell, is it? Or is that like a mod problem? Or maybe it was a mobile version change? Because I, I am, I am sure that you could choose where you want to zoom to. Oh, I gotta heal. Do I need to look at spells? I might need to look up some spells. Uh, nothing here. Let's go north. Okay, let's get rid of the Draki first. You know what? Let me pull up some spells. Oh, 
Okay. Let's see. No, not that one. Is there a zoom? No. Where's... Oh, okay, wait. Remix. Oh, evac was a remake spell. It wasn't in the original. Oh, that's... Oh, and... Illusion was a remake thing, too. Interesting. Found a copper sword. I guess that's what we need to make the lightning sword, am I right? Alright. Going up here... Where are we? Oh, okay, I know where we are. Let's try to make it to the castle. Gust. I guess I'll try Inferno since it's my one shot. We need to make it to an inn. Uh, Kabuff was added later? Huh. The Sap, Kamikaze, Kazin, Mid Heal. Zoom. Warps to any other location where you can save your game. Oh. So, I there was a... There is a zoom spell. But maybe that wasn't the Super Nintendo change. Or maybe this mod changed it? Oh, no. Let me look up return. Warps to the last place you saved, specifically. Okay. Oh, King's dead. Last place you saved, not not the last town. Got it. Alright, made it to this town. Alright. Are you going to participate in the fights? You're sincere about playing with your life so cheaply. I'm truly troubled by the king's love of fighting. Just the other day, a saber tiger and a traveling soldier were forced to fight. That soldier suffered many wounds. Uh, we're going to talk to the king later. I definitely need to revive Cain. The echoing flute is, is, is the singing voice of the spirits. Castle, town, cave, tower, monolith? Play the flute in these places. Blow the flute. And if you're in a place where the where there is a crest, then an echo will return. May the benevolent go benevolent goddess or be be benevolent gods be an ally to benevolent benevolent people. How can the church help? All right, let's revive. How much is it going to cost to revive 240 gold? Okay. So, there is a zoom spell. However, that might have been a mobile version slash switch version thing that was added. Because I am looking at, like, the level of the character that needs it, and I should actually have it by now. So, I don't know if that was just a later remake thing, or if that was a, uh, or if this version got rid of it. That's gonna suck. So. Uh, another vault? I will need it, eventually. I'm searching for the armor of Gaia. I hear that, uh, that the old man of the weapon shop around here is in possession of it. Uh, I can't escape, dude. I can't escape. Leave! Let me leave! There we go. Okay. I want to I wanna look at the shop. There we go. Why can't you just be in the corner? Steel swords, giant hammer, dragon killers, evasion clothes, magic armor. 
They are the same defensively. Okay. Time to look up what these do. Uh, eBay. Those. Let me look up specifically what these do. Cloak of Evasion. Now let's get Magic Armor. Let me look. Cloak of Evasion. As a defense boost of 35, boosts evasion by 20% in all versions. Okay, so it's a 20% evasion boost. Magic Armor. Defense is same defense right now. Reduces the damage taken from magic spells. Hmm. Oh, I think they have an even bigger boost to defense in the Switch slash mobile version. So, yeah, it's more worth it there. Now you have to make the choice. Do you want a 20% evasion boost? Or do you want reduce damage from magic spells. Honestly, that's probably the better option, but I'm not going to stress over it at the moment. Alright. Definitely still want to save up for the dragon killer. Self throw away. Uh, self throw Throw away or store the extra items that you are holding or and don't need. That is the key to success on your journey. Yes, I know this. Welcome to the inn. Yes, 75 gold. I don't care. I need it. I need the inn. Uh, what, do you, what do you have? I'm a fortune teller. Sure. I, I, then let me tell you your fortune. Hmm. East. That which you seek is to the east. Believe or don't believe, of course, it is your choice. That's very vague. I'll take the damage. It's been more than ten years since I was thrown into this jail. I'll tell you, I'll tell you something good to pass the time. Find the golden key. I know. I heard that a man named Tashi uh, Sun and Zahan is in possession of it. Zahan. Is an island far to the south. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we're gonna need that golden key. We might go and take care of that. I hear that on a stormy night, a ship carrying treasure sank into the ocean. Additionally, the echo, the echoing flute was among those treasures. We were told about the echoing fruit. We need to do that. Uh, hold on. Let me look very quick. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're gonna need to, the golden key. Oh, I just love when men fight. This is the battle square. You are you are standing in the hero stadium. So you have come from afar to Durkandal Castle. I am the king of this castle. If you entertain me, I will certainly reward your actions. Will you give it a try? I will. Then step out to the middle of the stadium. Ah, uh, we gotta fight a killer tiger. Let's see, what do we got? Now nah, we'll just attack. I think it's best to cast Surround. I don't think this thing can be uh, put to sleep. Oh, and it's dead. Splendid! Wonderful! That was an amazing battle! This is your reward. Let me give you the Moon Crest! I thrive on the thrill of action and of battle. And that was one of the five crests that we need to get. Uh, there it is. Win the arena battle and obtain the Moon Crest. Remember, the five crests are needed to go after Hargon. And to... 
There is a way to tell how many crests you have in the status in the status screen. There you go. See in the bottom right that moon symbol. That's how you know. All right. Um. We don't need to do much else here. I'll check the rest, but we need to go and get the golden key. Is there any more people on this side? There is a teleport. Oh, can't leave. There's a lot of doors that need to be opened with the golden key. So let's go see if we can find that. It says it's Zahan in the town. Uh, on an island to the south. I forget, was one of the doors in Charlock, was it gold or was it like a normal door? I forget. Anyway. I didn't save, so if I use cast return, actually, you know what? I will save. Let's get rid of the sorcerer. Let's try putting the Hawkman to sleep. Okay, it was... We managed to put it to sleep. Did the Hawkman wake up? I, I don't... Whatever. Let's get rid of the gust. I think it woke up. See, it casts around. It said it worked on Maria. Oh, maybe they do stack. It's just only going to tell you one. Yeah, Maria's, like, missing. So I think... I think they do stack. It's just only going to tell you one of your spells that you're affected by. on. Get the kill. Thank you. Oh, we leveled up. Kane's level 13, strength by 8, speed by 7, vitality by 3, HP and MP by 2. The Hawkman dropped a demon's tail. Huh. That is considered an accessory, I think. On. Oh, and the killer tiger's back. Oh, and I can sell the copper sword. I'm pretty sure you don't want you don't want to equip the demon's tail. And I don't know what it does. Alright, let me look it up. What does the demon's tail do? I think it's a cursed item. Devil's Tail. It will curse the person who tries to equip it, doubling the chance... Oh. Doubling the chance for an enemy to cast smoo snooze or fizzle to work. So, it's basically the opposite of the Banishing Bell. Alright. Uh... First, I am going to sell a couple things. Specifically, the copper sword, because I don't need that. And the demon's tail. We don't need that. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. That was worth it. Alright, I am going to use the inn. Oh, wait, do, do you not save? Echo of Fu, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know we need to find the Echo Flute to make it easier to find the crest, which 
we need to find the echo flute anyway. Oh no, you don't. Wait, don't, don't I just talk to the king now? Or is he gonna make me fight the tiger? Okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're making a save here. Alright. Now that I've done that, when I cast a return, we'll end up going back here. I don't want to go back to the town where I can't use the inn. Like, that would be awful. I think I'm going to do, like, the same setup. Dang it. Surround. That's not good. Makes you wonder if I should just run. Didn't work on Maria. Alright, you know what? I am going to hit you surround on the Hawkman. Was surrounded, so that makes things easier. I was gonna throw gold in the vault. I am... I was, throwing, I was gonna throw gold in the vault. Come on. Oh, of course you healed yourself. Okay. How much gold do, how much gold do I have? I am sorry. I am going back. I meant to throw the gold in the vault. That was the other thing I was gonna do. Heal up, throw the gold in the vault, then move on. Man. I don't need to save. Hey, if I'm gonna... If I'm gonna go out into the overworld, might as well be at full health, you know? Now, I don't want to lose the gold, potentially, so let's throw it in. The vault, can you move? There we go. I hate that that guy is there. Deposit gold. I think I have 4,000 in there now. So that's halfway to the dragon killer. Okay, now we're good to go. Let's go find that gold key. We need to go to an island to the south. I know I could buy the... the staff for Maria. But at this point, I think I just want to save up for... Uh, the Dragon Slayer. Because buying that... Ha buying a better weapon for me is a hand-me-down for Kane. Most likely. So, most of the time. Alright, head south. Okay, we saw this island. I don't think it, it's not a hidden town, so... I don't know if we want to go further south? Oh, there we go. Ooh, drops. Okay. Can I cast Surround? Don't know if that was worth it. Maybe it might have been better to use just Infernos. Yeah, okay, we'll just do normal attacks now. Okay, Surround wasn't the worst. To the miss.
Uh, this strange di jig, but no it failed. No one started dancing. Oh no, that drains MP. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah, that's very annoying. Okay, who leveled up? It was Maria. Strength by 1, speed by 3, vitality by 1, HP by 5, MP by 6. And they dropped a holy water. I should just sell a few of mine because I don't use them. Right, this teleporter. Okay. We don't need that. To the left. Oh, here we go. Now, it's hard to tell, but here, if you examine the ground, you found the Leaf of the World tree. This is the Yggdrasil tree. It's hard, it, you kind of wish it had a more detailed, like, forest sprite, but what this does is, if someone dies, you can use it as an item to revive them. You only get one at a time. I'm just handing it to Maria. Uh, you can't get another one until you use up your world tree leaf. I don't think putting it in storage counts as getting it away. I think it knows that, so... Yeah, you can't do that. Let's see how much damage I do if I use, use Infernos. 24, 29... That's about normal. I thought they would probably have, like, a resistance. Like, minus. But they don't. So, I, I would have been better off using Surround. Or Dazzle, I think it is. We found more holy water. So useful. No town here. Okay, let's check here. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna get rid of the mud, mud hands. I'm gonna cast surround on the Udras. There we go. Oh, they're draining my MP. Now let's focus on getting rid of the bond hand. The last mud hand. And good. I might have to consider casting return before I lose too much MP. And this is why it's not the worst idea to have at least one Wing of Chimera. Just in case you run out of MP. Okay. Dropped a treasure chest. We found more holy water. You know what? I'm just gonna... No, I could just sell holy water. What we... Oh, another town. Okay. What's the best way to handle this? Um... Sleep? It worked on one of them. Oh no, Maria can't test out other spells. Yeah, you summon a new ally, just kill them right when they show up. Alright. It's worse. Now let's get rid of the Udra.
Okay, I'm gonna have to have Kane spend some time healing. Well, at least I already know that sleep doesn't really work on mud hands, although it can, but it's not worth it. Maybe I'll run. Might be worth running. Okay, I'm run I'm running. Good. Alright. First, let's cast heal more. I could use the Yggdrasil leaf. We are at the town. Let's see. Everyone left me behind and uh, and disappeared somewhere. Oh, I'm so lonely. Yep, yep. Oh. There's a dog somewhere. Nothing here, it seems like. Um... And this is why... This is why you have a Wing of Chimera. Alright, Leaf of the World Tree. Use it on Kane. Kane was revived. Let's return. We made some progress, I guess. How much gold do I have? Eh, not as much as I thought. What was that 5,000 in total if I throw in the vault? Yeah, that's about right. Seventy-five gold. Stay at the inn. Heal up. Alright, let's throw the gold in the vault and then... I guess we'll try to find that other town again. Because it's really important to find that key. Wrong button. Let's sell my holy water. I got a bunch. Yeah, it's not much, but eh, I'm not going to use it. I'll keep one on me at the very least. But I, I don't need this many. Does Kane have anything? Eh, we'll keep it. Okay, we'll keep it. It's not a big deal. Alright. I need to get another Leaf of the World Tree again, but we are also trying to find the town. Okay, head south. Nothing so far. Yeah, let's get surround on Hawkman. Now let's just focus on getting rid of the sea slugs. Maybe putting him to sleep would have been better. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a... a pick your poison, you know. Alright. Where's this town? Okay. I think in this case it'll be better to try to get as many kills with Inferno, see even if some of them are gonna live. Uh, it wasn't worth it. Oh, well, Hawkman's dead. I was hoping to at least get two sea slugs. Didn't work out. Ah, 
one more. Keep going south. We're at the monolith. Let's go south from here. I don't know if this is the right way. Where are we now? No, we went too far. We looped the world. This is the... That's where uh, the... Like, the Lake of Bravery is at. We're at, basically at the beginning. All right, let's go back up. I went too far. This is the annoying part. <laughs> Right now, just trying to find a small island in the middle of the ocean. Um, no, let's, wait, hold on. Furnos, Medusa Ball. Okay, no one fell asleep, but everyone has a banishing bell, so it's a little bit easier. Uh, let's guarantee the sea slug kill. Have the other two focus on the Medusa ball. Okay, who leveled up? Is it Kane? No, it's me. Level 15. Uh, strength by two, speed by four, vitality by two, HP by three. Okay, let's head north and see if we find an island. Okay, there's this one. Let's just keep going north. Said there was an island to the south. And we just kind of looped the world, and we're back here again. Where is this island? Hmm. I don't know where this island is. Not off the top of my head. I need to find another town, though. But I think we need to find... Okay. Let's go south from here. Just kind of pick a spot. There's a part of me that might open up a map. I mean, I could try looking for the sunken ship again. Like, that's also important to find. There's like a... The fact is, there's a couple things we can do. south, see where we uh, find land. I don't think there's really anything I can do to smokes except just Infernos. I don't think they can really be affected by other spells. Maybe stop spell, but is it even worth it? gold 2000 I think we need another thousand to get a dragon slayer oh we found it so that monolith teleported us to Middenhall the first castle and we saw this island here we go 
Welcome to the fisherman's town, Sahan. Right now, the men are all out fishing. Here we go. When at last it's spring, my my lover, Luke, returns from fishing. Oh, Luke. That... When at last it's spring... That... I'm a little confused. Yes, this is a town of only women. I hope you don't have a problem with that. The ships of the men of this town were attacked by monsters and lost at sea. I came here to learn about that situation. Oh, gods. Don't talk to me. Okay, that is suspicious right there. That little patch of grass. I'll take the damage. That is so suspicious. Never mind, then. Aw, oh, come on. Can you move? Move, old man. No! Get out of the way! That barking dog over there has pulled my sleeve. How strange. That's strange. What could it be? Oh, what do you got? What do you got to say? So. It's telling me to go over here, search the ground? Hold on, let me. search the ground. What? You found the gold key! Good dog. Helping me find the golden key. An achievement for that. So now we can do a lot more things with the golden key. That That's going to help a lot. Let's see. Uh, item shop, what do you got? Uh, actually, we'll buy another Chimera wing. We'll let Maria hold on to it. Just in case we run into a situation where Kane is dead. When the moon fragment illuminates the star-filled sky, the waters of the ocean become full. That is an ancient legend that is handed down in this town. While the men are out fishing, the women are busy at home caring for all the children. Hey, guess what? In the sea somewhere, there is a cave that is surrounded by coral. My aunt says you need a moon fragment to enter the cave. Not the moon... Like... A different item. Not... Not this. That doesn't count. At least I think so. When I grow up, I want to become a fisherman, just like Daddy. Well, sorry to say this, but it seems like your dad's dead. Lost at sea. I am Tush uh, Tashishan's wife. My husband is very fond of animals, especially dogs. However, three winters have passed. My husband still hasn't returned from fishing. I hope that nothing bad has happened to him. Everyone is praying that he returns to safety. Three winters. Three years have passed. Tragic. Very tragic. And yet we have the happy music. Pursuing a man named Rogue Fast Rogue Fastfinger. I came from Tepa searching until I stopped here. Fastfinger is a thief, but I just want to hurt. But I just heard that he was he was thrown in jail somewhere. Hmm. Is that important to know? Uh, is there a reason we would want to go through? No. We can't open those doors. Speaking of which, let's take the gold tea, the gold key. I'm gonna hand it to Maria. The gold key is unlimited uses, and it will work on any. Uh, We'll work on any door, any gold, any door with a gold frame, and just one person in your party just needs to help hold on to it. Doesn't matter who. Um, I think we're good. Let's cast return. Last place you save, not the last place you've been to. So there was a a door behind 
the weapon shop. And it had a gold frame. I still don't think we could go back to Charlock, though. There we go. That was the door. Let's, open, let's loot your stuff. We found the armor of Gaia. And that was also an achievement. I don't remember if there's anything important with the armor of Gaia. But, hey, it's something. What's this one? We found a sacred knife, which I can just sell. So, let's take the armor of Gaia. Okay. I can equip it, and I'm the only one that I can equip it. That's fine. Equip. Yeah, uh, Erdrick Sword. Armor of Gaia. Oh, that is way stronger than Invasion Cloaks. You know what? Hold on. Let me look up. Gaia armor. Is there anything specific? Is there anything specific with Gaia armor? Uh, it looks like it's just defensive. Nothing special. Oh, maybe in the remix? Hold on. Oh, this might be called the Tectonic Plate. Yeah. Uh, still nothing specific. It's literally just defensive. Okay, I have a list for the magic armor. Defensively, it is weaker than the armor of Gaia. However, it does spell and breath damage reduction by three-fourths. If that is accurate, that is really good. Three-fourths reduction damage. Honestly, that might be better than the armor of Gaia. But for now, we'll keep the armor of Gaia. Should be back here. Talk to me across the counter if you want to buy something. Where did this lead me? Oh, wait. Yeah, let's go through here. Where does this take me? Two gold doors. I've been waiting your arrival, Prince. Let me tell you something. There are two kinds of keys. A golden key, and a silver key, and two types of doors to match. First, you should find the silver key. Well, I already found the gold key, so where's the silver? There's a rumor that says it's hidden inside the Lake Cave, which is west of Sumultria. Lake Cave, west of Sumultria. Okay. Is this Sumultria the first town? Oh! Okay, we are back at the... This is the monolith south of Middenhall. We were told to go here if we didn't weren't able to come here before. So we could have gotten the silver key already? Oh, that sucks. Okay, hold on. We might take that warp back. Eh, no. I don't think we will. But now that we have the gold key, we got a lot of places we can explore now. But maybe we should go try to find that silver key that I missed. But first, let me sell the Cloak of Evasion. Oh, get out of my way, dude! I don't want to leave and come back in. Get out of my way. I hate moving, wandering NPCs. If I sell the Evasion Clothes... That gives me 3,000 gold. withdraw all of my gold. All 5,000 of it. Let's sell. No, not sell. What am I doing? Buy. 
Dragon Killer. I'm gonna equip it. There we go. Now, let's give the Sword of Erdrick to Kane. He has an Iron Spear. And now it will be stronger. Bitch Post Leather Shield. We don't have a helm for you still. Alright. Now let's go sell a couple things. Uh, I can sell the Sacred Knife. I don't need that. And we'll sell the Iron Spear. There we go. Now we're working. Ain't not enough to put in storage. Okay, I'm gonna use the inn. And the silver key is at the lake cave. West of... I could have gotten that key a while ago, didn't I? I probably could have gotten it with the prince. Alright, let's take the warp. Let's take the warp back to Middenhall. Middenhall, Canock, and Moonbrook. Those are the English names. More used to that. Alright. This is still north of the town I was at. But I didn't want to fight the enemies. Actually, now holy water would be nice. But we can also just do this. Zoom would be so nice right now. Up. It's fine. Alright, where are we? Still move up. We still need a, a magic staff for Maria. 2,500 gold. I could probably save up for that. I'm not missing much. I don't think I want to save anywhere right now. Because I kind of want to be able to warp back. Because it's not a bad spot to have the warp at. And again, I can't... I can't use the inn for that one town, but I could save there, but it's not the best option. Alright, Middenhall. We're back here again. There's a... Yeah, there's things we can get, grab here. But we can't grab everything. Hey, what are you doing in the treasure room? I'll stop you from stealing. What? Oh, is that you, Prince Scott? I'm terribly sorry. Time to loot the place. A magic nut. We found the token of Erdrick. Well, at least it just wasn't in a swamp. We actually do need that. Token of Erdrick. Oops. Uh, one thing. There we go. Wait, does that mean we could get the Helm of Erdrick now? I think we could get the Helm of Erdrick. Strength Seed... Gold. Nut of life. Oh, oh, oops. I see what I did wrong. I clicked. I was wondering why that was still up. There we go. And a medicinal herb. Alright. Alright, we found the token of Erdrick. We can just give that to... Maria, it's fine. Any anyone can hold on to it. Strength seed, magic nut, and nut of life. 
I am not sure how, how I want to divvy those up. I might just throw them as swords for now. Was there another gold door? No. And there's... I don't think there's a vault here. Anyway. Let's go to the lake cave. It's west of Canock. You see, with this... What... I don't know what I want to do with the strength... With the seeds. Because what I could do is I could just dump them all in Kane. Because he is the all-rounder. He kind of needs the extra stats. Or I can min-max, you know? I can hand the strength and HP one to me. Well, at, at least I can hand the strength one to me. And the magic one to Maria. Like, that wouldn't be the worst idea. But that is the min-maxing. But I could give them to Kane to balance him out a little bit. Not sure. Okay. I know it's faster to run, but... I could just... No, well, there are more than one enemies now. There's more than one enemy. Dragon Quest 1, you know, with the single enemy, it's usually just just as quick to kill him. I mean, maybe not for if you're counting speedrun, but, you know, it's pretty quick. But now, since there's many enemies here, yeah, I think it is worth running. Some sort of lake cave to the west of Canock. sure where I'm going. I don't think I need to fight these guys either. I'm pretty weak. Ah, uh, here we go. Lake cave. Completely optional. Well, actually, maybe not. Oh, an agility seed. Again, with these seeds, it's like who do you want to dump them all into Kane because he kind of needs the extra stats, or do you mid max? I don't know. I don't know what the best option is, honestly. Uh, let's explore around. Supposedly, the silver key is in this cave. Head down there. Uh, no, it didn't work. Okay. I was gonna say, did it loop? Nut of life. At the very least, I want to throw these in storage. I'm thinking because of some of the achievements, I might want to consider min max mid-maxing. I'm not sure. Antidote herb. Okay. Going to Maria's inventory right now. Do I have a... I do have a holy water. I'm going to use that. Make this go a little bit faster. Really? Even with holy water? Huh? 
Okay, fine, whatever. There it is! The silver key! I was supposed to have this a long time ago. Uh, where is it? There it is. I was supposed to get that a long time ago. Yeah. As soon as I got the Prince of Canock, I could have gone to the Lake Cave. Hell, I could have backtracked after getting Maria. I might cast outside, but no, you know what? There might be more treasure here. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. I just thought of something. Uh, no, not that one. Maybe I don't need to worry about it. Oh, sea, sea cave, not lake cave. You see, there's a couple achievements that's like get all the treasure in this like place, but I thought lake cave might have been one of them. And no, it doesn't seem like the lake cave is one of the ones that I need to worry about. There we go. I knew there was more treasure in here. Queen of Chimera. Eh, what do we got? Alright. I am gonna cast Evac. I am not gonna use Return yet. I actually want to visit Old Towns now, since I have both keys. So we'll go to Canock. We'll go to Canock, we'll then check the in-between town that I forget the name of, and then Middenhall, and then maybe return. I know there's... we saw the doors in Middenhall. Do I have another... Chimera. I have two green Chimeras. Holy water. Alright, might as well use them up. Okay, here's Canock. Alright, are there any doors? Is it in? Uh, obviously, there's still one more key. Okay, yes, we could go here. We can open this chest. What do you have to say? So you have come. You people are descendants of Roto. Now then, open the treasure chest and take the item that's inside. We've attained the shield of Erdrick. I mean, there was no sh there was no Erdrick shield in in Dragon Quest 1. I was going to say, oh, kind of like the helm, there were no shields. No, there were shields in Dragon Quest 1. But for whatever reason, there was no Erdrick shield. I don't know why, but first, let's go ahead and take a look. Shield of Roto. Only, only your character can use it. But I have too many items. Um, steel. No one can use the steel shield. Okay, you know what? I'm going to sell the steel shield. There's no reason for me to have it anymore. I am pretty sure the Steel Shield also... Uh, wait, what? No, I was gonna say, I, I'm pretty sure Erdrick Shield has some sort of magic resistance or something. Some, some, some other special effect. Steel Shield. 1500. There we go. Shield of Roto, give to me. And equip. Dragon Killer, Armor of Gaia, Shield of Roto, Iron Helm. There we go. 
Perfect. It is better defensively, and I'm the only one that could use it. Oh, well. Did Moonbrook have a Urtric item? It doesn't seem like it did. Maybe Harlock's goon stole something. Because think about it. Middenhall, all three castles were descendants of the hero of the first game who was a descendant of uh, Erdrick. Middenhall had the, the token of Erdrick. Canock had the shield. Did Moonbrook hold one? Oh, there is a door here. Okay. What do we got? Oh, the lottery. Hidden behind a door. Interesting. Is there a vault here? No. Okay. Alright. Holy water's effect wore off. That's fine. I'll live. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and cast Repel. It's all good. Alright, back to Middenhall. Item shop? Okay. You don't have much I need. Um, let's go open some doors. Wait. Hold on. You know what? Let's... I have a feeling I'm going to fill up on items. I really need a vault. I don't... You know what? Yeah, we're going to come back here. We'll still take another trip to Middenhall. But I... Desperately need the vault. Come on, get out of my way, dude. Get out of my way. All right. Let's start with items. Okay, let's throw in the nuts. All of them, because I'll make my decision later. Strength seed. I don't know how many items you can store in these, uh, in the vaults. But for now... Uh, deposit... Items... Nut of Life... Got two of those. And does Maria have anything? I want to keep the prayer ring. Okay, no. We're fine. Alright. There we go. I cleared out my inventory a little bit. Let's go back to Middenhall. a small ways back. Oh, and I think I am going to... It doesn't... Again, it doesn't matter who has the silver key. I'll probably hand it to Maria anyway, but I'll wait a second. Back to Middenhall. 
All right. Now we'll open some doors. I could have come back here and do, and do this a long time ago, but I forgot about the other cave. This is the jail. Oh, Prince, you should be down here. Hey, you. Do you have the jailer's key? Uh, no, I don't. What? Go and get it right now. I don't... I, I mean, I don't even know where it is. I don't even know where the jailer's key actually is. Uh, what do these guys say? The bell amulet can protect you from magic from the monsters. However, there's a small chance you can be put to sleep. Even if you have sealed their magic. I... that sounds a little misleading, honestly. I heard all about what happened to Moonbrook. The evil priest Hargon is a sinister pa is a sinister power. I hear that he that he will put a curse on people who seek to destroy him. Please be careful. And we found a lottery ticket. Okay, I'm gonna need to use that. Now that's everything here. We're done here. I think it. Okay, I want to head back to Alfgard. I want to start start heading that way. Right. We have Chimera. Alright, from here... Oh, I forgot to put the gold in the storage. Yeah, I'm gonna put gold in storage. Because while I do want to head to Alfgard, we're probably going to head back and grab a Leaf of the World tree. There we go. And while we're at, while we are getting the Leaf of the World tree, we might as well go back to that town that only had uh, the door and a staircase and I didn't have the golden key yet. Let's head south. Okay. Uh, we'll let Maria work on the slug. Or jellyfish. My bad. There we go. Kane's dealing damage now since he has the sword of Erdrick. I mean, still not as strong as me. Just look at that. 51 damage. It's insane. Alright. Keep heading south. We don't need to bother with Zahan for a little while. We need to come back with the Jailer's Key. There we go. All of them should be out of here. There we go. Get out of here. the Yggdrasil tree. You're gonna want one anyway at some point. Just don't have the Prince of Canock or Cain hold on to it. Let's hand it to Maria. It's fine. You know what? I'm gonna use up one of her ant- I'm gonna just- discard an antidote herb. I'm gonna be honest, we don't really deal with poison anymore. So, and then give the silver key over to Maria. There we go. I'm not really dealing with poison anymore, so it's not that big of a deal. Um... 
We'll have Kane deal with the Lolly Ho Ant, and I guess we'll just Infernos. Okay, there we go. I might wait. Did Kane not kill it? Oh, no, he didn't get his turn. It's all good. Still needs a better weapon. Okay, almost there. Now let's go through here. The hidden town underground. Welcome to the town of Purpoi. This town is to the south of the mountains of Rhone. That's going to be important. We don't want to fall under Hargon's curse, so we built this town underground. Yeah, honestly, that's a good idea. What we got at the weapon shop? Giant's hammer, dragon killer, light sword. Both, both you and the Prince of Cannot can equip it, so there are so far two weapons that are better than the Sword of Verdric. Mink coat. Mink. Power shield. Iron helm. Yeah, we're going to need to save a lot of gold if we want any of these. Here's the thing. If I get another... If I get the light sword for me, the problem is Kane can't equip it. So. Uh, mink coat. It's just a defensive boost. But everyone can equip it? Hmm. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be worth it. Okay, I was just comparing it with the magic armor. Magic armor, in I believe in this game, has 35... Uh, yeah, it's the same as Cloak of Vision. So, 35 defense... But it reduces spell and breath damage by three fourths, whereas the Minx Mantle, or the Minx Cloak Coat, uh, it's 60 defense, so 25 more, and that's it. No other special effects. Uh, we'll hold off for now. Well, not like I have the money anyway. Still, power shields are very useful. Don't want to say for those. I hear that Don Mano, uh, Manon Mahone, who lives in Teppa, is a master of making the angel's robe of water. Though, I believe he can only make one. Hmm. What do we got in here? Nothing? Of course, it looks like a shop, but, you know, he keeps walking... He keeps hanging out by the wall. I can't talk to him. I hear that Harkon is skillful at creating illusions. However, if you have the protection of the Spear of the Earth, Rubis, you can break through them. That's going to be important. Did you people come here to buy the Jailer's Key? Uh, yes. I hear that it's sold in this town, but I think that rumor is preposterous. Item shop, what do you sell? Uh, nothing important. Oh, there we go. This is an item shop. How can I help you? So he sells a medicinal herb, an antidote herb, a wing of chimera, and... Something else. The price is a tad expensive. Is that alright? Well then, let me sell it to you. But please don't tell anyone. Who's going to use this? Uh, we'll hand it to Kane. I'm terribly sorry. I'd like to sell it to you, but you don't have enough money. I don't know how much money we need. Where's the vault? Is that my... I might need the vault. No! Move closer! 
Why do you make NPCs that have shops be able to move? Okay, withdraw all my gold. This should be enough. I don't know how much I need. Can you get back down here? Get. Come here. Move down. There you go. Alright. Buy the mystery item. Tad expensive. Who's gonna use it? Hand it to Kane. Uh, looks like it was 2,000 gold. And with that, we have the Jailer's Key. There we go. Now we have every key. Uh, where is it? Here it is. There we go. We have every key now. Do I want to heal? No, I don't, I don't think so. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where the bath is? What? This isn't a bath. Is, this is a hotel. What is, okay, whatever. Uh, what do we got? Ooh, yeah, let's play the lottery. Ah, uh, dang it, I didn't want an explanation. Yeah, 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 I still need to... I'm gonna need to figure out how to get lottery tickets. there's a way to time it, I would like to know. My name is Luke. I don't remember anything other than that. I collapsed on the beach, and when I was, when I came to, I was near this town. The priest helped me, the priest helped me to town. If only I can remember where I'm from. I saw it! Northwest of this town, the rocks at the foot of the mountains of Rhone split open. That can only be the work of the devil. Oh, gods. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to keep that in mind. Oh, Roan. Okay. I threw the thief named, named Fastfinger in jet, into jail, but he disappeared. How could he have escaped? Hmm, so strange. The evil priest Hargon lives deep inside Roan, surrounded by mountains. Only the person in possession of the Eye of Malroth can open the path to Rome. Let's ignore that other door for now. And come back to it later. I want to come back when I'm stronger. And I want to save, you know. Okay, wait, how's my MP? We're kind of doing okay. I'm trying to head back to Alfgard. And surround. So yeah, to get the Jailer's Key, you needed the Gold Key. And the Silver Key I could have had the entire time. That's on me. But there was the one guy that's like, hey, you should, did you visit the monolith south of Middenhall? You should go talk to him if you didn't. And I never did. Yeah, honestly, it would have been a good idea to go there either after getting Kane or after getting Maria. Heal more, heal Kane. There we go. Let's grab the boat. Oh, come on. And surround. We still need to find the sunken ship.
So, yeah, we're trying... Right now, going back to Outguard. There's some doors there. We want to go back to Charlock Castle. So we can... Open the doors that was at the bottom floor, which... I could have opened if I had the silver key. Saved a trip. <laughs> That's all on me. Oh, come on. Really? That was unnecessary. Still get rid of Gus, work on Kane. Or work on the ants. I'm running out of running out of MP. I don't want to cast Return. Luckily, I do have Wings of Chimera, though, if I need it. I, and I think once I get to Olive Guard, I think I will save. Let's just head south. Looks like we're near the lake cave, I think. Or are we at Alfgard? We might be at Alfgard. I can't tell. Uh, Infernos. Okay, no, we are not at Elf Guard. Keep going. Keep going west. Where am I at? Um. Okay, Infernos, the Medusa Ball. someone leveled up. Is it Maria? Level 10. Strength by 1, speed by 5, vitality by 2, HP by 6, MP by 5, and we learned defense. I think that is actually sap. In indicating you lower the defense of opponents. Yeah, there's a light cave right there. You lower the defense of the opponents. It doesn't buff yourself. Uh, it's still a good spell. All right, now we continue west. I think.
If I could just land in at Alfgard, I'll walk the re uh, rest of the way. Oh, is that it? Okay, here we go. Death Gods. There we go. Oh, Cain wasn't able to kill. Almost there. You know what? Maria should probably get healed. Okay, I'll take care of that. Uh, first, let's heal Maria. And then we'll heal more my character. I think that was where Garai was, the top left. So southeast should be... Oh, I see Alif... I see Alif... Uh, not Alif card, uh, Tentacle. Bottom right corner, you can kind of see the corner. There it is. Ah, gremlins. Get out of here. Uh, okay. We're gonna need some healing, but we're almost at Tantacle. Or Rotatome, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, who leveled up? Is it Kane or is it... Yeah, it is Kane. Level 14, strength by 3, speed by 5, vitality by 2, HP by 5, and MP by 3. And he learned to heal more. Finally, he has a better healing spell. Okay, now we made it back. Well, let's heal up. Get everyone fully healed, get my magic back. Go one more. Heal up Maria. That should be everyone. Uh, 68. 59. Uh, 56. It's funny how Maria's HP is only just a few points lower than Kane. And yet she's the mage of the group. You think she would have a lot less... Or significantly less. What, whatever. Uh, we want to go over here and open this door. What do we got? The sewing shop. Do you want the dew's yarn? Yes, we will need it. What? You do? We've just run out, though. The dew's yarn is the blessing of the sky. It's carried by the wind, but always lands on the third floor of the north tower of the dragon's horn. We never win in there. Okay, uh, I don't know if I need the wind's mantle, but maybe I need to grab it out of storage. Anyway, let's explore around a bit more. See if we can find the king. He went missing. We were supposed to be able to walk in here. Oh, you people are descendants of the great hero Roto. Our king really fears Hargon, has hid him so himself somewhere. Such a shameful matter. So the king hid himself somewhere. Where is he? Pretty sure he's in town somewhere still. Is there a hidden door? Hidden wall? No. We're gonna need to go get that dew of yarn, though. Okay, what is this? Just the item shop. Yeah, we don't need anything here. Actually, I think I could get the magic staff from Maria.
You know, the wizard staff, that's what I meant. Steel sword, giant hammer, invasion clothes, steel armor. Okay, yeah. Wizard staff. Produce a special effect when used during battle. Who's gonna hold it? Uh, I guess Kane is for now. No, we won't equip. I guess I'll sell Maria's weapon. The sacred knife. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, wizard staff give to Maria. And equip. She still doesn't have a shield or a helm. I understand helms, but she doesn't even use a leather shield. You get rid of curses. I thought for sure there was like a hidden room somewhere. The story of sunken treasures? Repeat it to me. Rich merchant was living in the vicinity of the harbor town. However, his ship was piled too high with treasures and sunk from the weight. It went under in the middle of the ocean of the open sea to the north. So that was the hint. Hmm. The golden key was necessary to open the golden edge door. Oh wait, um, we want to go, no. That hidden chamber is not here, is it? No, it's not. Um. Tome. I'm pretty sure he's he's here somewhere. Oh, up the stairs. Yeah. Okay. So you come to such a place? Don't mind me. I'm just living in retirement here in the weapon shop. <laughs> Well, we found the king. Um, is that is that it? Maybe I need to come back later. Um, okay, let's grab a save. I think I need to talk to you. No. I need to talk to you. Yeah, we'll make a save. It's been a while. Keep going. So now that I've made a save... Cast Return. There's my ship. Let's go into Charlock. Again. One more time. Again, I didn't need to take this trip. If I had the silver key. That's my B. Can I, should I just run? Yeah, I think I could just run from everything now. Well, that makes this trip a little bit more man manageable. Yeah, I think my headcanon is that the hero from the last game just never found the Sword of Erdrich. Because it would make no sense why he would just put it back here. It makes no sense. I think he just never found it. And that's the canon. Okay, I guess we're not running. Okay, I'm not running. Um, let's get rid of Saber Wolves, I guess. Okay, I can't run from everything. Oh, I should test out uh, Maria's new item. 
Alright. If you go to your items, find... Wait, where is it? The wizard staff. Use. Gorgon head. It just uses a fireball. Probably better for Maria to use that, honestly. Okay, we found holy water. That's something, I guess. Honestly, her casting a free fireball is probably more effective than physical attacks. Let's see. Yeah, the fact that she missed kind of tells me. Probably a better idea. Let's try it again. Oh no, 13 damage. No, Fireball was still more worth it. Yeah, she's probably better off holding on to... Or just constantly ca uh, using the weapon. Mm, no, I'm not going to try running. Uh, sleep. Oh no, I should have used Surround. My bad. Yeah, it doesn't work on mummies. Get rid of the Gorgon heads, and we shall heal more. I mean, they're easy kills. I They're just not easy to run away, apparently. Infernos, Gorgon Head. Should kill them all. Okay. Damage ranges, you know. Now he's dead. there. Who's this way? Yep. Almost there to the Dragon Lord's final dungeon room thing. Okay, we're getting rid of Saber Wolf. Wizard Staff on mummies, I guess. Fireball. At least it won't break. You could just keep using the wizard staff. Okay, one more staircase should be enough. Okay, here we go. Finally made it. We're not here to talk to the Dragon Lord, though. Yeah, it was a silver door. I could have accessed this. That's the annoying part. Okay. Now let's have Maria cast Heal More. Gotta play this carefully. We'll use Kane's MP as a last resort. And I want to make sure Kane's alive. Okay. Spell, Maria, heal more. Maria, heal more, Kane. Okay, hold on. Maria needs more healing. This is a dangerous room right here. And we don't have any way to mitigate it. Alright, 
Made it through. We found gold. All right. And we found the world's map. Wish I had that sooner, honestly. Is it just a... Yeah, it is an item. You can see your position on the map. It only works on the overworld. Okay. Steel armor. I can sell that. And a strength seed. I'm throwing that in storage. All right. The world map is what we came in here for. Because... Uh... Where is it? There it is. Find the world map. Yeah, I could have gotten that <laughs> sooner. Anyway, uh, let's cast outside. And might as well just cast return. It's not a big deal. All right. Time to heal up. Heal more Kane and heal more Maria. Good. Let's go over here. Make the light shine. Give me all my MP. What do we got? Okay, let's sell the steel armor right now so I create more space. Sell... the steel armor. Uh, I think that's it. Yes. I want to throw that in storage, but there's no vault here. I don't need the inn. Okay. We read... Someone told us about the... Yarndu being in the third floor on the Northern Dragon Horn Tower. So, on our way there, because that's close to the port town. Let's go to this monolith first. And I guess I'll just use the wizard staff. Or Miss Jellyfish. There we go, get rid of you. That should be it. Alright. Now we can check the monolith again. I have been awaiting your arrival. The descendants of the hero Roto have appeared. Let me give you the helmet of Roto. So yeah, we needed the token. Back in Minden Hall. And now we found the helm of Roto. Okay. Who can equip it? Only me. Alright. So let's take a look. Dragon Killer, Armor of Gaia, Shield. And it is a huge boost. Was it a 14 point difference? Definitely worth it. So we can sell the Iron Helm. Because it can't be equipped by Kane. Yeah. So we could sell that. And that is another achievement. Where is it? There it is. The Helm of Roto. We did need the gold key for that. But, like, as soon as you get the ship, you could just go straight to the island. Uh, let's actually go with Infernos this time. Oh, 
Okay. So now what I want to do is I think I want to see if I can find the sunken ship. And then we'll go to the port town. That will give us access to the vault. And I can sell some things. Also, can I use the little map now? There we go. I should have had this for a while. It would have made finding the last island a lot easier. How's it going? It's going fine. We got some stuff done. Uh, so yeah, here's the world map. You can see Alfgard is basically just in a small section in the northwest corner. Uh, here's my mouse. So yeah, here is where we started in Middenhall. There's the... This is uh, Cannock Castle. Right over here, Lake Cave. Moonbrook is down here. And uh, we had to go all the way through... Yeah, it's a pretty big map, honestly, for... You know, and think about it, this is just the immediate sequel. Remember, this was the only thing here. Just this one section. And now the world expanded. Uh, I want to head this way. Yeah, remember, like, Moonbrook was over here. We had to go all the way around down here. Then this way, up to the towers. Uh, the Dragonhorn Towers, just to get all the way over here. And this is where we got the ship. So we need to find... I'm going to go find the sunken ship, so I'm going to kind of head this way and check. It's like somewhere over here-ish. Not 100% sure. Uh, but it is over here. Somewhere. But yeah, we did get a few achievements already. I'll show them off in a second. But I'll do that after I get the... After I find the sunken ship. Yeah, what's been going on, Hawkorn Dog? What's been going on? Uh, just attack the sea slugs, no, and then we'll wizard staff the jellyfish. We have a few things we can do. But our, we only found one of the... the tokens. We found the... what was it? The, uh, the moon crest. That's right, the crest. I'm not saying we're close. It's not as much... It feels like there's not much more we need to do, but there actually is. They're playing some Fallout, almost got softlocked, but the enemy died. Ooh. Oh, you'd fast travel and not be softlocked. Oh, speaking of fast travel, uh, I was misremembering. There is the zoom spell to let you choose where you want to go back to. But apparently, in the original NES version, it was just... Return, aka the last place you saved. Um, it says Zoom was added in the remakes. Oh, I leveled up. Strength by three, speed by six, vitality by three, HP by two. I guess they implemented Zoom in the mobile and Switch version? Unless this version modded it back to the original NES version of Zoom. Because Zoom, you could just choose which town you want to go to that has a save point. Or just any town, I think. Uh, sea Slug, Medusa Ball, and then Infernos. So that's going to make some of the things that I need to do a little bit more annoying. Oh yeah, so remember the Dragon Lord said we need to find uh, five crests to... Uh, we need to find five crests to get our, uh, get uh, get the way open to Hargon. 
And in one of the other towns I've been to, they said that there's an echo flute that kind of hints where a crest is. And someone also said that the echo fruit is on the sunken ship. Okay, this ain't right. I think this is not right. Kill the sea slug, Infernos the jellyfish. I still need to take the warp at the monolith with, uh, what was it? Uh, the warp where we got the helmet, because it was that warp set where I died, but I think I want to... There's just so many things we could choose to do. World map. Where am I? Okay, nope, too far. Let's go to the left for a second. There is an indicator. Okay. Let's head south. Where is it? Set to the north. I, I don't know if I want to pull up a map just to figure out the exact location. Honestly, I usually have trouble finding the sunken ship. I don't always remember the exact location. But yeah, how were you almost softlock in Fallout? Right, let's head north. They were sailing north. Um, sleep? Ouch! What was that? Alright, gotta cast you more. Oh, by the way, we found the Yggdrasil tree, and we got the Leaf of the World tree. And if someone dies, you can use that as an item to revive them. But you can only hold one Yggdrasil leaf at a time. But you can go back and get more. Yeah. Where is it? I'm pretty sure there's like a set of bubbles to know where it's at. This is like the only spot I don't know the exact location. Well, actually, hold on. Well, I'll, I'll get it ready to be pulled up, but... Uh... Oh, yeah. Not pulling up just yet. They did say north of the port town. Oh, what they a copper sword? Okay, well that's more gold. It did say north of the port town. So where is it? Um you focus on those, you use Eh, why waste the magic, wizard staff? You're fighting some bears, and after killing them and getting near a quest area, Deathclaw attacked. Try using the rocks to get as a way to between you and the Deathclaw. Got stuck in the rocks. Ooh. Deathclaw didn't attack you, but kept running around you due to the angle. You couldn't shoot him, so you were stuck in the wall, basically. It 
it ran towards the quest area and there was a super mutant suicider who exploded. Okay, when the death claw and allow you to fast travel. Oh, you can fast travel, but not if you're in combat. But because you were in combat, you couldn't get out. Could you have, like, turned the game off and turned it back on? Or does it, like, autosave exactly where you are or something? So, north of the town. Let's just go straight north. Zook staff, jellyfish. Uh, it's not always strong. It was 30 mi Oh. Uh, I mean, I can see why you wouldn't want to do that. They were heading north from the harbor town. No, I don't think this is right. Nope, I think I went too far. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up. Uh, where is... The sunken ship. Okay, I'm actually close, I think. Okay, hold on. Where am I now? Let's head south. You know what, I'm just gonna keep diving off the side of the ship. Should be here somewhere because you should be able to find it I'm gonna try a different I'm gonna try a different one now this one is showing like straight north This one, to me, is, like, really hard to find. Um... Finish the Shroud quest without the dude who upgrades the armor dying. Oh, they can permanently die? Okay, I'm too far... Okay, hold on. Give the treasures to the man. Yeah, I already have. I already know that. Okay, here we go. In the sea north by the shallow water. But I'm not finding it. That's the thing. I don't see it. There's supposedly shallow water. Head south. Can I run? I don't want to fight these guys. Fine. B 
These guys are so weak. But yet, no, I can't run. It says, in the sea north of Lian Port, by the shallow water. And I'm looking at the map, and I kind of see roughly where it's at. And it was kind of, it looks like it's kind of where I thought it was, like directly north of the town. But I don't see any shallow water. Can I run? This is the worst aspect of random encounters. When you are over-leveled, but yet the enemies just don't let you run. Like, these enemies are not hard. The quest has you killing raiders as the shroud. You start killing a specific gain, and they want you dead. Uh, so they grab the guy who's in charge of the radio system to pull you in. You have to be quick and do enough damage to the guy before he kills the guy that upgrades your stuff. Okay. I see. And that's that sounds like one of those quests where you want to make sure to save before you attempt... Okay, yeah, it is Charlock Castle. That is what it's called. Okay, no, this ain't right. Where am I on the world map? It looks like I am north of the castle. Or of the town. But... I don't see the shallow water. Let's try this one. God. Um. Yeah, I had the right idea. I had the right idea. I don't see it, though. Okay, I have been passing this, this spot, but it's not showing up. I know I've been passing this spot. I'm looking at, like, the any Right now, I'm looking at, like, the NES map, which is, you know, the exact same but I can easily tell what's a square. So... Okay, hold on. Let's just keep going north. But... I should have found it! I don't... Do I have to check every... No, I shouldn't need to check every square. Don't tell me, like, I did some sequ sequence break or something. That shouldn't matter, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this map right here, and I'm kind of lined my mouse up where the sunken treasure is. And if I am just that island right there to the right, if I'm around this distance away, one, two, three, uh, about four squares, right? So, one, two, three, four. It's about here. And then we go straight south. There should be some shallow water somewhere. It should be on screen. Okay, this is actually getting annoying. Okay, 
don't tell me something went wrong. And not on my end. But with the, with the game itself. Maria's level 11. Speed increased by 1. HP by 2. MP by 6. Keep going south. There should be shallow water. Okay, I have one other option. There's one other option I could think of. Oh, come on. As to count the squares and then dive once I get to around the spot. It looks like I need to be a tile to the or two tiles left of the land. This sucks. I shouldn't need to do this. It should be visible, and I don't know why it's not. Is, is it in a different spot in, like, the SNES map? Here, let's try this one. Uh... Now, that's... Yes. Oh, I need. Uh, let's try here. Okay, S and yes. Oh, they are devious. Okay, hold on. About, about here, go north. Let's keep a close eye on the water. Just take a few steps, or move forward a bit. I, I almost need a closer look, hold on. Oh, that is cruel, hold on. And close. I don't need that. I can drop that if I need to. Just moving forward every little bit so I can look. It is a lot easier to find on the NES version, I can tell you that much. Maybe even on the Game Boy Color version. Hell, maybe even in the Switch version. But if this is what it, I think it is, this is mean. This is just mean. Makes sense, but it's mean. It's, it's, it doesn't help that it's in the open ocean. I didn't see it. I thought on the map, it kind of looks like there's bubbles. And that's how you're supposed to tell? At this point, I might as well just dive off the ship every step. I am that desperate. I'm probably not going to find it this way because I'm probably going to be... I'm probably going to overshoot it. I almost want to go back to Olive Guard.
This is the one time where I wish we didn't have the, like, half a tile movement sort of thing. Go back to the NES where moving left once is a single tile. That would make this a little bit easier. I probably overshot it. Tell me! How are you supposed to know where this is? But if you don't throw anything away, you can't hold any more items. Yes, I'm gonna throw away those plain clothes. Oh. Uh, it looked like Kane had it. Never mind, we'll get rid of the antidote. We got the ship's treasure. Tell me! Can you tell me where this is supposed to be? Because I can't tell the difference. This is me. This is absolutely me. I... It seems to me that this is, like, a problem with this ROM, maybe? Or something? Or, like, the translation of some sort? Like, something went wrong? Because I'm looking on this map, which is the SNES map, that there are bubbles here. And you that's how you're supposed to see. And I think it is like that in... Uh, in the Switch version, there's bubbles. So that's how you're supposed to know. And it's very obvious. And in the NES version, there's just, like, a tile that's, like, completely, like, a lighter blue. So that's how you're supposed to know. But this is just awful. This is mean. I think we can all agree that this is the meanest achievement so far. Or uh, it's up there to being, being the meanest achievement. That is a load of ball. I'll give it that. Anyone, what, getting the treasure in itself is not an achievement, and of course no one says anything, so I don't know if it's me or not. Alright. I'm not going back to Alfgard, not yet. Even though, yeah, okay. There we go. I want to go back here. Let's access the vault first. I spent way too long trying to find that sunken ship. That was not needed. I got a lot of gold for it, though. Uh, hold on, I'll hold off on doing that. My items. Let's start with throwing in the Seed of Strength. Again, I'm going to save those for later, because I'm not sure who to hand them to yet. Does Kane have anything? Nah, just stuff to sell. I don't think we need Erdrick's token anymore. We have the helm. I don't think we need it. Alright. Let's sell a few things. Sell the Iron Helm. I don't need that. Sell the Copper Sword. And let's sell the Plain, clo uh, the plain Clothes. Oh, by the way, Hawkhorn Dog, uh, not only do we have better weapons than the Erdrick Sword, we have the Dragon Killer. Which is better than the Sword of Erdrick, but there's also a Sword of Light that's better than the Sword of Erdrick. And we're hearing rumors that there is a lightning sword somewhere. Okay, yeah, I don't need to do anything else. So, uh, hey, Molly! Hey, you're fine. Okay, uh, ship's treasure, I need to hand it to this guy. No, oh, why'd you move? The country of Algar is across the sea. I heard long ago here Roto left, left the country. No, it's... Someone is supposed to... 
I'm supposed to trade it with someone. No, not you. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Hold on. Take the ship. Go south to the door. Then we talk to this guy. Oh, those are the treasures from the sunken ship. Now I won't go bankrupt. Thank you very much. As a reward, I'll give you my family heirloom, the echoing flute. There we go. That's This is how you're supposed to know if there's a crest somewhere where you're at. So let's give it a test. I did it wrong. Uh, echoing flute. There is not one in this town. It didn't echo back. So, I don't need to sell anything. Uh, okay, wait a minute. No. I am going to grab a wind mantle. I'm going to grab the wind mantle back. I don't think I need it. Molly, come on. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, I don't know how many pages you can store things at, but there is a limit. I'm pretty sure. Wind mantle. I uh, just hand it to someone. It doesn't matter who. Uh, we'll throw all the gold in. I don't know how much I need at the moment. Alright. Let's use the inn. I will not make a save here. Because this is not... Oh, you're not the end. Duh. This is not where I want to save. I still want to be able to work back somewhere else. 60 gold. The Holy Lightning Sword, ex it exists. Someone must have taken their copper sword and got it struck by lightning. Oh, oh wait, no, no, no. I don't need this ship. That's not where I need to go. I'm fine. So the, the lightning sword does exist somewhere, but we just don't know where. Alright. Let's get rid of the mages. I know the mud dolls can be put to sleep. But yeah, you know, we were we were talking about how it's kind of weird that the legendary sword from one game gets outclassed in another game. And so far, it seems like there are probably three weapons that do that. Uh, oh, King's level 15. Strength by 4, HP by 4, MP by 2. But it's kind of funny how the first weapon that's stronger... Stronger, doesn't tie. Stronger is the Dragon Killer sword. Honestly, Urgic would have probably be we probably would have been better off having a Dragon Killer sword than Urgic sword. It make it's specifically made to kill dragons. I think that's more worth it. So yeah, north end of the tower. We could have done this a long, long time ago, I guess. I think it's third floor. Oh, are we just supposed to search the ground? Oh, we are, aren't we? Okay, we are supposed to search the ground. At least this place isn't that much of a tower. Or a winding tower, I should say. Okay, I didn't need the holy cape or the wind mantle. So they said on the third floor. One. This is the second floor. Third floor, I think. So am I supposed to just search every tile? This is where I kind of would like a sparkle thing to tell me if I if there's something here or a treasure chest. The woman Alfgard said that it was like the third floor of the tower. Uh, can I run? No escape. Fine. Um, um, let me 
check something. Showing what here? Or is it just saying keep searching the floor? And you'll find it. Oh no. It's just randomly on the third floor. It just says keep searching. Oh no, this is mean. I'm pretty sure. The Switch version has a sparkle. Actually, I think, like, I know I dabbled in this version a bit, too. I'm pretty sure it has the sparkle, too. Maybe it's, like, this version of, the like, the mod or something got rid of the sparkle. But it got rid of it for the Fairy Flute, which I was fine with. Because they were very specific when it comes to the... When it comes to the fairy flu. But we're just told it's on the third floor. And I'm reading, keep searching the floor and you'll eventually find it. I thought for sure there was like something telling you where it's at here. Just by entering here. Well, we found a lottery ticket. Okay. It's just... Uh, there's the dew's yarn. Okay, we got it. I don't know if it's always in that corner. But we found it. Alright, now we'll cast Return. Go back to Alfgard. Well, we got two very annoying items out of the way. First, I am going to open this door. All right, this is the sewing shop. Do you want the dew's yarn? Yes. What? You do? We just ran out of dew's yarn. It's in. It is the dew's yarn is the blessing of the sky. It's carried by the wind, but always lands on the third floor of the north tower of the dragon swarm, which I. Yeah, I have the dew's yarn. It's right here. Oh, I see. We didn't need to come back here. They're just basically telling you where it's at. Okay, I didn't need Wind's Mantle. At all. Okay, I see. I see what happened. Oh, let's try out the Echo Flute. Nope. Nothing here. Nothing in Alfgard. You know what? I'm just gonna junk the antidote. We're not really dealing with poison anymore. Okay. Where to go now? Hmm. Okay. I think I have an idea of where to go. Oh, oops. Wrong way. Infernos. I think I remember where our crest is. The guy that told us about the crest, they're just like, one's at a castle, one's in a town, one's at a monolith. Uh, and I forget what he says of where the other two are. But, you know, they're all in different types of areas. But I think I remember where one is. We'll come back to the ship here in a second. Oh, 
Oh no, stop spell didn't work. You can't seal my spells. Wait, if Maria gets affected by stop spell, does that mean she can't use the wizard staff to cast fireball? I don't think that would matter. Okay. We're at a monolith. I don't know if this is the right one. Uh, it's here. There's a crest here. I had a feeling it was somewhere... I, I knew there was one in one of these monoliths from this teleport. There it is! We found the Sun Crest. And that is a achievement. Uh, down... Find the sun crest. There it is. And if we check our status, see, there's that. All right, now we can head back. At least the crests don't take up, like, one of your item slots. That'd be ridiculous. Alright, now that I've done that... And again, you don't need the Echo Flute to actually pick up the item. However... Like, how are you supposed to find it in the first place? guys. Alright, okay. Okay, I know what we need to do now. The place I was thinking of going to, it would be one of those think you have step two before doing step three. Or doing step two before doing step one. There we go. Jeez, I can't... <sighs> Whatever. Let's head back to the underground town. That's where we want to go. The one near uh, Roan. Which we will need to go back to. Uh, I don't think I'll want to save there yet. But eventually I will. Time to head back north. At least I'm not trying to find a sunken treasure ship. Yeah, I'm still salty about that. That is just the meanest thing this game can ever do. Probably. I couldn't really warp back anywhere. So, oh, come on. Let's wizard staff the jellyfish. Uh, 
everyone's asleep. Come on. Okay, everyone woke up. There we go. Get rid of the Medusa Ball. Get out of here. I'm tired of this. Nope. Not what I'm trying to do. Alright. Now at this island, we go east. Yeah, we could go up and east too. It doesn't really matter. Um... Let's just focus on Hawks. Or a Hawk Man. Okay, one sea slug left. Actually, if I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna have to save. Now that I'm thinking about it. Sailing in the ocean is so much fun. Where are we at? World map. It's a good thing I checked. I'm gonna go back here. Infernos. Should only be one slug left over. Unless Kane is not strong enough. Should be good. good. Alright. Okay, now that I'm back here... Oh, let me check the Echo Flute. Nope. Not one in this town. Is there anything I need to sell? Uh, antidote herb? I don't even need to sell it either. All right. What was this? Ain't Joe's robe of water. He can only make one. Yeah, okay. I want to put stuff in storage. Come on, get over here. No. Come on. There we go. This is the vault. Let's start with the items. Okay, let's put the wind mantle back. I didn't need that. Is that all I need to deposit? Uh, I don't... I don't need to throw the Doos yarn in there. Yeah, it's fine. We'll keep everything else. I will throw the gold in. I should have, what, 1400 now? No, 14k. That might be enough for a power shield. Okay, I'm gonna use the in. 120 gold. Ugh. All right, now I want to make a save. It is very important that I save here. If you let me. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Does this place not have the ability to save? No, there has to be a safe spot. 
Weapon shop? Oh, what do you have, anyway? Okay, I don't have enough for a power shield. Not yet. Okay, it is worse defensively than Erdrick's shield, but I still want one at some point anyway. Okay, that guy was telling me about the... about the... flowing dress or whatever. Creating root illusions, yeah, yeah. You are an item shop. Okay, we better play the lottery. If there's a way to time it, I have no clue. Okay. Well, I better try when I can. Oh, I think you only get a free lottery ticket if you get two of a uh, of the same type. Okay. There really is no way to save here, is there? Northwest of the town, for the mountains. Not yet. You're asleep. You don't save. Okay, never mind. I want to make a save before I attempt this, and I don't remember the last time I saved. I guess I'll work back? To... No, is there more I can do? Hold on. What else can I do? Okay, you know what? I think I know where I could go. Let's just head south from here. Where am I at? This is still Alfgard. Not Alfgard. Um, probably Canock. Hell slash holy water. Okay. Uh, where's this at? Okay, yeah, this is where I wanted to go. We're heading back to Moonpetta. Oh, I forgot this was here. Oh, another teleport. That's right. I think that links to the monolith in Alfgard. Yeah, we just want to head straight south. We're going back to Moonpada. Why don't I just run? There we go. I can run from these guys. Although I don't know why the holy water's not working on them. Does it have something to do with, like, whoever the lowest level is? So is Maria holding me back there? Do I have another holy... Do I have another holy water? Uh, no. 
Let's just cast Repel. Come on, keep going down. There we go, there's Moonpetta. Alright, there's a few... There's like one thing we can do here that we should be able to. All right, let me first try the echoing fruit. Nope, not one here. What's the point of going down here? There is one in this town. That was misleading. Before we deal with that, Let's talk to this guy. I hear that there is a monolith of spirits somewhere in the vast ocean. If you have attained the five crests, you are able to call forth the spirit there. Though no one knows where that place is, or if the legend is true for that matter. Okay, we have the Jailer's Key. Let's fight some Gremlins. Or, no, Vibars, my bad. These are harder versions. Uh, we have healing water. Okay. Let's start with... Sleep's not going to help me. I don't know if surround is going to help me. Let's try defense, actually. Yes, it works. Ooh, Firebane. This is bad. Okay, we got rid of one. I am going to hope that we get the heal and they don't attack me. Of course, hits everyone. All right. Defense it is, or sap, whatever. next turn. Maria got the kill! Clutch win. Ah, oh, that was... That was really bad. If you search around here, though... There it is. We found the water crest. And again, like, using the Echo Flute in town didn't tell us anything, but... We had to be in this room for it to work. I feel like other versions, like the mobile slash switch version, did a better job. But I don't remember. Okay. Let's revive. How much is it going to cost me? 320 gold. It takes a lot of money to revive the dead, you know. Alright. Okay. So I could use the inn. Or I could work back to out of guard. Okay. We have three of the five crests. What was the final two? I'm trying to remember. I don't remember. Um, well, there, there's a few jail keys. Oh, you know what? We could go back to, uh, oh, what was it? Rohan. Okay, actually, let's go warp back to Alephgard. And let's heal up and save. Alright. Doesn't matter who heals, just heal everyone. Let's 
Oh, Gilmore, Maria. All right, let's get everyone's MP back. Uh, we are good on all of this. I am making a save. I want to make sure I save before I do uh, the next thing I'm going to do. Because it is a missable thing, apparently, for achievement if I fail. And apparently, the underground town doesn't have a way to save. I thought it did. Right. Got Now we gotta take the long trip back. Can I run, please? Fine. I, at least I can use the inn when we get to the town. So that's not a big deal. It's kind of annoying. Because if I fail, it's a long trip back there. Unless I save at a different town that's closer. Eh, I don't know if it really matters. Level 17. Strength by 3, speed by 2, vitality by 1, HP by 5. Oh yeah, because Repel was really working so well for me. Um, let's focus on the Hawkman's wizard staff, then jellyfish. Honestly, not being able to use the inn in one of the towns I could get to is really hurting my options, because that would be closer. I mean, I can save there, but do I really want that to be my warp? Because I can use the inn at the underground town. But the save at I don't know. Actually, I should check that town out anyway. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna go to that town first. I can save there, just not use the inn. Okay. Let's go with Infernos on the Medusa Balls. Honestly, you're spending a lot of time fighting enemies in the ocean in this game. If only we had the zoom spell and not return. Apparently it was like that in the original Dragon Quest 2 on NES. But hey, they thought of using return. That's something, right? Can I run, please? Yay. Okay, I'm gonna try running away, but let's be honest, there's a good chance I probably won't be able to. We don't need to go back to Alfgard for anything, I think. I don't think there's any reason need to, we need to go back there. Well... Not until the end of the game, anyway. And by end of the game, I mean after beating the final boss. But for now, I don't think there's any reason to go back there, so maybe getting a save somewhere else is a good idea. Come on, let me run. There was no escape. You see what I mean? Like, these guys are so weak. But yet, no, I can't run. It's probably because of the sheer numbers. One more time. There's no escape. Alright, 
I guess I'm stuck fighting them. See what I mean? There really needs to be a better run. It, it, it should probably be based on your agility stat or something. Actually, I, it probably is. I don't know how the run or how running away works in this. Get out of here. All of them are defeated. All right, we're close. If the random encounters will just chill for a second. So close, but yet so far. Inferno Smith. I still don't think I could buy a power shield. I still don't. I, I, I don't think I have enough yet. Is that what I want to save for? Okay, weapons, there were... There's the Dragon Killer, which I have. The Light Sword, which both my character and Kane can use. And then there's the Mysterious Lightning Sword. Maybe I still want to save up for a single... Uh, light Sword. It's probably cheaper to do that than to save up for a power, uh, sorry, a, a power shield. You know, power shields are way more useful. I might even have enough for a sword of light. Okay. While we're here, let's heal up. Now, while you're in this town, do not use the inn. Don't do it. I want to talk to you, but not now. Actually, let's check the echo flute. Okay, not one here. Whoa, what's with the slowdown? That was weird. Don't use the end. Don't do it. Okay, I am gonna make my save. This place is closer. That's the only reason. Yes. Keep going. Like, it's mostly because of an achievement I need to do. That's the only reason why I say don't, don't do it. Uh, okay. We'll take the teleport. Where does this take me? I saved first, just in case this uses too much. Oh, I think I know where we're at. No more. stairs. What do you say? It is said that the path to enter Rhone is to the west of this monolith. The journey through the cave is very dangerous. Please don't rush, rush foolishly into it. Uh, is this how we're supposed to get to the cave to Rhone? Hmm. 
Here's the way. Here's the thing. There is a way out. It's kind of hard to tell. Or I should, I should say, it's not hard to tell. It's freaking impossible to tell. It's very dangerous too. All right, hold on. Yeah, how are you supposed to know about that? I won't harm you. I can tell you something good. There's a rumor that the Watercrest is in, in the town of Moonpeta. So that's how you're supposed to know about that. I jumped ahead. Okay, we're supposed to take this warp to get to the Cave of Rome. Map. Yeah, it's surrounded by mountains. We're not ready to do... We can't do anything here yet. Let's actually cast Return. Go back here. I am going to have Maria heal. That way I don't take extra damage. All right. I did make the save. So if I have to reset, at least not much was lost. Uh, let me check the little map. Uh, specters. Keep on going. Get out of here. I think we should be able to run into an island. Come on. Oh no, they suddenly attacked. Can I run? There was no escape. Alright, Kane, get rid of the sea slug. I don't want anyone to be put to sleep right now. Infernos. Okay, one more sea slug. Here's an island that doesn't seem like it probably has anything on it. Can I run, please? Let me run. Thank you. Okay, nothing's here. There's There doesn't seem to be any point to this island. Of course they can't jump on me. Why is Maria asleep? Oh, the jellyfish has, like, a sleeping thing. Okay. See, I normally don't like to run away from battles, but, like, this is getting ridiculous. Like, now I'm at the point where it's like, yeah, I want to run. This is, like, a little ridicu ridiculous, especially since, you know, you only take, like, one step. And you get into another battle. With weak enemies you can't run from. Almost there. Let me run. Good. All right. I made a save already. It is very important that you save before you attempt this. But you also need the jailer's key, which is also in this town, and the gold key. So he talks about how there is a uh, there's a thief here, but for some reason he's gone. What the hell? What happened? Why? How is he gone? 
Oh, you found me. I'm the infamous rogue Fast Fingers. Fast Finger, please forgive me and give you the water gate key. Oh, dang it. I misremembered. I got him confused with a different character. I got him confused with a different character. All right. Is that is the character I'm thinking? Oh, I think I know the character I'm thinking of is at. Ugh, my bad. Well, we needed the water gate key. It's going two thousand. How much gold do I have? 16,000. Is that enough to get the sword? Oh, it is. It is able to get the light sword. You know, I just realized how much that costs, and there's no way I'm getting it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Not for that much money. I could get... Well, okay, you know... One mink cloak versus three power shields, but still. It's okay, Grandpa, take your meds. <laughs> oh no. I'm an old man. I'm forgetful. Okay. Let's buy a light sword. I didn't think I have enough yet. Come on, get back here. Yeah, I'm gonna withdraw all of my gold. Wrong way. Withdraw. Gold. All of it. Okay. Weapon shop. Bye. Light sword is so far the strongest weapon. We will give it to myself. It's produced a special effect when used in battle. Hold it. What? There we go. Sadly, the dragon killer cannot be used by Kane. See? Alright. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Dragon killer. No, I can't sell the world map anyway. <laughs> Good, at least they caught that. Dragon killer. Still a lot of gold. Okay, I'm gonna throw this back in. Why can you move around? I want to throw stuff in the vault, but no. You just have to be able to move. Alright. Dump in the 6,000 gold. Good. Alright. I got that character confused with a different one. I am still gonna warp back. Luckily I used the N already. Turn. Alright. Now the place I wanted to go to in the first place. Let's go straight south. Actually, would it Actually, no, it might not be faster to go south. Let's go up and around this island. Please let me run. That's a lot of this playthrough, isn't it? Just please let me run. Yeah, we've been to this monolith already. It was uh, one of the teleporters south of Alfgard. Or in the southern Olive Guard led here. That was like the only way I could go. Alright. We need to take this path. And I forget. Did we want to go south? No, I think we just wanted to follow the river for a second. Okay. Let's try here. 
Rotting corpse. Okay. Let's go Infernos on this one. I could try a uh, surround on them. 25. Yeah. I don't think Infernos is going to do a lot on them. Oh, they could put me to sleep, too. Eh, yeah, maybe surround would be better. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the enemy I'm the guy I'm thinking of is in Middenhall. Hmm. Okay, there's a town around here. Just don't remember exactly where it's at. Right, let's get rid of the sorcerer. Let's put can I put the headhunter to sleep? Increase. Oh, that's how that's kebab, okay. Okay, Headhunter's asleep. That's good. Okay, no. I don't want you to go after Headhunter. Get rid of the Puppet Man. There we go. That's... Ugh, come on. Oh! This is bad. These guys are dangerous. Sleep? Can they be put to sleep? Good. Yeah, these guys can be very dangerous. Or am I thinking of their cousins? Because I know there's, like, another type of these in the final area. Like, these guys hit fat. They're kind of fast and they hit hard. I really don't like fighting them. Okay, who leveled up? Maria! Strength increased by 1, speed by 2, vitality by 1, HP by 1, MP by 2. And she learned Antidote. Even less of a reason to carry the herbs. Do I need to go down here? No. Okay, wait, where am I supposed to go? in your defense. Please. I mean, increase is so good because it affects all your party members and it also affects all of the opponents too when they use it. Like, it's such a good spell. And I think this was before there was a way to get rid of buffs. So no, like, Kabuff is a very good spell. Okay. Oh, Metal Babbles! We need to kill this thing. Not only for the EXP, but for the achievement as well. Actually, I better heal. There we go. Again, same rules apply to the Metal Slime from the first game. Actually, Metal Slimes are here too. But the achievement requires a Metal Babble kill. There it is. Wait, how much EXP did I gain? Holy! You see that? 10,000 EXP! And 150. Level 18. Strength by 5, HP by 3. I also rose to level 19! Strength by 3, Speed by 3, Vitality by 1, HP by 4. Kane is level 16, strength by 5, speed by 7, vitality by 3, HP by 2, MP by 4. Kane is also level 17. Speed by 2, vitality by 1, 
HP by 4, and MP by 8. And we got Step Guard. Oh, that would've been nice uh, earlier. Maria is level 13. Strength by 1, Speed by 5, Vitality by 2, HP by 3, MP by 4. Oh, Maria was the only one that didn't get two levels out of it. And he dropped... Descendant's Orb? What? Descendant's Orb? Give me a minute. Because I, I don't... I don't know what this is. Hold on. Too bad there's no, like, help icon to tell you what this is. Let's see? Descendants. It's probably a different name. Uh... No? Not really finding anything. Okay, hold on. Let's find... Metal... Babel. Maybe I can find it on through there. Uh... Okay, Liquid Metal Slime. That's what they got the name change. Okay. Excuse me? Rebirth Stone. A 1 in 8th chance to get. Oh, I'm sorry. That was in the original. In the Super Famicom version only, there is also the Rebirth Stone. That is also a 1 in 8th chance. But there is a 1 in 16 chance in the Game Boy Color version, mobile version, and Switch version. There's a Mad Cap, 1 in 16. I want to see what that does. Rebirth Stone. Okay, what does this do? Uh, it's a rare drop by Liquid Metal Slime. It could, it could be used to save your game on the spot anywhere on the map outside of battle. Uh, outside of battle, without having to visit the King or the Priest. When you load a game save using the Rebirth Stone, you are transported to the town in which you last save. Okay. So you can save the game anywhere on the overworld map, but then you load the game back up in the most recent spot you saved at. Interesting. And this is the only way to get it. I could sell it for 7,500 gold. That's probably the better use of it, honestly. Madcaps. What does that do? Not. It's obviously not in this version, but... Oh. The hat reduces MP consumption in battle by 25% rounded up and provides a defense of 4, or 8 in the remakes. Oh my god, that is so nice. Okay. This will feature madcap attainable in a chest. Oh, okay, I think I know where it is. So, honestly, the Descendant Orb is not something I really need. I could sell that. Okay. Can I use the ship to, like, go under the bridge or something? Yeah, too bad I can't get madcaps. Honestly, 1 in 16 chance to get a madcap from Metal Babbles? It's not the worst, but they... You know, you're risking them running away. Oh, there was an achievement for... for that. Where is it? Down here? Defeat a metal battle. Well, that wasn't as stressful as getting the metal slime kill in the first one, that's for sure. Do I need to go over here? 
Is this where I need to go? Rotting corpse. Okay, uh, surround. It only worked on the one? Okay. Poison. Interesting. Again, poison I think only works or takes effect on the overworld. Now did Maria level up? Yeah, she did. Level 14, strength by 1, speed by 6, vitality by 3, HP by 6, MP by 5. Alright. Maria, you now have antidote. And I just wasted that. That was a waste of a spell. Alright. Is there... Uh... Oh, man. Yeah, I think I need to go up and around. Like this. Living dead. So, oh, they're just the normal zombies. Oh, I meant to use surround. Well, they're not hard to kill anymore anyway. Actually, I just realized Maria needs to heal up. Okay. Heal up, Maria. So yeah, I'm not gonna buy another Sword of Light. There's no reason for me to do that. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I guess all my gold is going to be saved up for power shields? I can't think of anything else. Three companions max? Yes, it is. They're all related to the hero of the first game. At least you get them pretty early on, more or less. There we go. There's the town we need to get to. Uh, let's get rid of the gold orc, and I'll put the headhunters to sleep. Here's the thing. At le in Dragon Quest III, they do have it to where four companions are the max. So they do change it up. Just a little bit. And typically after that, it's four companions at max. I think Final Fantasy IV is the only one I've seen do, like, five companions at a time. Like, I, I can't think of another RPG where it's five. Most of the time it's either three or four, depending on the game. I mean, well, I should say three or four in battle at a time. Obviously, you could get like six to eight party members, something like that, but, you know, you swap them out. Uh, at least sleep works on these guys. Sleep, see, sleep is your best friend. Such a useful spell. Get out. Alright. I need to enter here. I wanted to save going to this town for very late. Uh, welcome to the village of Tepa. I am a traveling soldier. I heard that Don Mahone, uh, yeah, Mahone, who lives in this village, is a master of making angels robe of water. The task is very difficult, and he can't take he can't undertake the job without the tools and materials that he likes. I might end up making a save here. 
hear a rumor from one of my fellow merchants. A mysterious stone called a moon fragment is in the Tower of the Moon. I wonder what kind of power is hidden in that stone. Hmm, it's unnerving. Oh, well, we do need that. Wizard Staff, Dragon Killer, Fal- Ooh! Never mind! I forgot the Falcon Sword is in this game! The Falcon Sword says that it's weak, but don't be confused. It attacks twice- it, it attacks a single enemy twice per turn. So it does two hits per enemy. Falcon Sword is usually really good. And I still will probably consider getting a magic armor. Shield, I am. Yeah. I forgot Falcon Swords were in this game. You got back the Watergate key. Thank you. Yeah, that's why I wanted to hold off. The Tower of the Moon stands to the south of this village. Not long ago, you could reach it, by, reach the tower by ship. What's in here? Yeah, you need the gold key too. I am Don Mahone. I'm in retirement in this village. Do you have any business for me? I do. If you don't have my tools, then I won't do business with you. Please come again. I... What? But... Hold on. Uh... Okay, hold on. We'll come back to him in a sec. Uh... I guess I need to find his tools? No, I want to talk to you. Man, that bastard Lagos. If I were a little faster, he wouldn't have escaped. Ah, uh, yeah, I better use the end. There seems to be only one bed there, so all, you know, all four people, all four people here have to share. Item shop, what do you got? And eh, nothing that great. I'm actually gonna sell the Descendant Sword. I don't... It just lets me save on the Overworld. I don't need it. I really don't. That's just a lot of gold. Oh, you're getting a tornado warning? Oh, let's hope nothing bad happens. Open the water gate. If you do so, the flow of, wa flow of water will return to the dried up riverbed. Recently, my grandfather stood in one spot, pretending to be walking, and repeating to the people what he said to him. I wonder what happened to him. Yeah, I think this dog is supposed to kind of indicate you're supposed to go up here. Oh, we need the Jailer's Key, too. Okay, no. Uh, use the Watergate Key. Uh, oh, I guess I was facing the wrong way. Now use the water cake key. There we go. There we go. Uh, I th do I want to make a save? I don't. I don't know. But now the river's shown up, so. Actually, maybe I... I think I will make a save. Yeah. Hold on, let me talk to this guy again. Also, do I still have the Watergate key? I do. I don't need it anymore. Sadly, there's no vault here. Oh, I really wish I had a vault right now. Do you have business for me? Yes. If you don't have my tools, I won't do business with you. It shouldn't matter who has this, but... I guess I don't have his tools? Am I, I guess I skipped a step? I'm missing something. Hold on, wait. Use yarn. But I didn't know what to do with it. Damn. Like... 
I thought I was being clever, but no. The game has to be like, no, 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 no. You forgot to do one little thing. I don't remember. Don't remember where, it, where the tools are. Oh, there's no way to save here? There's, there's no way to save. Huh. A second. Uh... Oh, that's not what I want. Did I? Oh, I needed... Wait. Oh, I see. I see what I get. Okay. You know what? Since I can't seem to save here, let's cast return. Man, I am getting a lot of things. Well, at least I used up the Watergate key. Can I run? Where? Where do I need to go? I need to go... Like, here? And then... No. Now I go west. I know I needed to come back here, but I didn't realize I needed to come back here now. Uh, world map. It's a good thing I checked. I didn't go south enough. New enemy! Okay. Not that hard. Not worried about it, I guess. Alright. Yeah, I needed to come back here. And now with the Jailer's Key... And Step Guard. Yeah, that, this is gonna help. Step Guard. At least it's only one MP. Let's open this up. Treasure! We got the sacred loom. That's what I was missing. Oh, I guess it only lasts until you leave the, the section. Okay. And we get another prayer ring. Honestly, having Kane hold on to that is a good idea. All right. Um, we got the sacred loom. We could go back. Is that all I need to do? Wait, can I use the world map here? No, I can't. I think that's the only thing I need to do here. I think we're done with this area. I will not make a save. And I can't use the inn there. And I run. Good. Alright, back to the town. Because I keep doing step three before step two. Granted, if I went the right way, I could have gotten the jailer's key before going to that town. Wait, no, what? No, you couldn't get the jailer's key. You needed the gold key anyway. Yeah, never mind. You need to go there first to get the gold key. Go to the other town so you can get the Jailer's key, and then go back. And hopefully you have Step Guard. Again, this wouldn't be too bad if Zoom was... ...available. Wait. Something's not right.
there has to be a way to save there. Because how else am I supposed to get my boat there? Unless I could cross underneath the bridge. Actually, let me check that. That's probably what I was supposed to do. No? Never mind. Oh, map. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Uh, Avatar... Is in the game right now? All right. Well, due to Toph being a skin, there's been an increased amount of memes making fun of her blindness. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I think I... Okay, I see where I need to go. I mean, granted, some people will probably claim that's inf that's offensive but that care Toph made fun of her own blindness too so like what are some of the jokes that people are doing with Toph I see where I need to go. Oops. Head down over here. There's another river. This makes more sense. This one, I think, is the one I want. Oh, now you let me run. We needed to take this river up. But that's the thing. We needed to go... To get to the town in the first place, we had to go up and around. But now, since we used the Watergate key, we can now go to the town. And we can use the end to heal up. In the clip, she drives a car, gets off after five seconds, so she can sense where she is. They continue driving for five more seconds. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But no, like... One thing I found stupid about Toph's, like, how she sees things. Apparently, like, the creator said, oh, she sees, like, through vibrations, and she can see things in the air or something, like... No, that's stupid. Like, nothing in the show really implies that. You just said that uh, after the foul. After the fact. No, she needs the- she needs the ground. And she can only see things on the ground. Basically. So... So what she does, she kind of uses, like, her feet to uh, basically send a shockwave on the ground. And that's how she sees things. She's like Daredevil, but only affects like anything on ground. Now I can re weave the angel's robe of water. But it'll take some time. Come back another day. It's not ready. Okay. Well, he did say come back another day. So I guess we'll come back a different day. Hey, has it been a different day yet? <laughs> this game doesn't have a day-night system. Unless you're supposed to use an inn. That's like the only other thing I could think of. But the game, again, doesn't keep track of anything like that. Oh, it's still not ready. Maybe you do have to use the inn. Let's try it. I need to use it anyway. Wow, I have a lot of gold. Too bad there's no vault here. I want it to be safe. Okay, let's try this again. Now are you done with it? 
It's not ready. Hmm. I wonder if this is a case where once you get another item, that's how it triggers? Or maybe... Maybe it's a step counter thing. Oh, right. I still have the wire gate key. Um... Well, at least I don't have the other two items, so it cleared up my inventory a little bit. I'm, I'm checking something. Anyway. Alright. Off to the tower. Getting a call, hold on. Now, I think there is something I need to do here. Let's start with Surround. I think there is an achievement for this place. Get all the items inside the Tower of the Moon. Yep, okay. We're probably going to be here for a bit. We do need to be here for... Um, oh, what was it? Uh, uh, the, the, the moon drop thing is at the top of this tower. That's what we're here for. Come on. <sighs> Bloody hands. I'm assuming bloody hands are just normal muddy hands that just killed a lot of people. And now their mud is stained with blood. That is, the, that is my headcanon. We found a strength seed. Oh, I don't really want to use it. I want to save it for later, but... Oh, I'm... I only have so much space. Uh, okay, Kane needs to get healed. Okay, we're fine. But yeah, uh, I'm trying to think with Toph's, uh, how she sees things. I think because the car is on the ground, she might still be able to see the road. Or quote-unquote see. And be able to see any other cars coming by. What she won't be able to see, oh, we got a magic nut. What she won't be able to see is a bird, you know, because it's in the air. If that makes sense. I, I could be wrong. Granted, she did learn how to bend metal. But the only reason she was able to bend metal was because there was small bits of, like, dirt in the metal, so she just found the little bits of it to manipulate the inside of the metal, I think. Hmm. I'm not 100 sure if she could. It's kind of weird, a weird thought. But there is a chance she'd probably still be able to see the road. Even within the car. I might have to leave the dungeon just to clear out my inventory. Luckily, it's not a 
It's not hard to get back here. We'll see. Batten the elements this season. Oh, right. Is it just Aang and Toph right now, or did they add some of the other characters? Or did... Yeah, is it just Aang and Toph? From my here, they usually only add, like, two characters. Per season, I guess, of Fortnite. I don't know. Okay, Hell's Messenger and Rotting Corpse. Right, I forgot. Surround doesn't really work on them. Okay. Two more turns, and Maria's poisoned. I should be using the wizard staff. It's Aang, Toph, Katara, and Zuko. Okay. Just no Sokka. With normal hair, not the weird stuff he had at the beginning. Yeah, his, like, ponytail at the, at the beginning of the show. Yeah, okay. So we just don't have Sokka? Poor Sokka. No one likes him. Apparently, no one likes him. What? We can't have the boomerang? Alright, we're basically hitting walls. At least that, that makes sense on why they would chose all of them. It's just, you kind of wish Sokka was there. Okay, we got a defense seed. Oh, I can only hold one more item. Actually, hold on. We just don't worry. Water bending is the most OP since it has long range. Also, if you swim, you can yield. Wow, that, that sounds broken right there. But how how many stages in Fortnite have water? I guess that I guess that's the real determination. Okay, I have soccer Sokka instead of Korra. Yeah, probably. But with Korra, didn't they add like a couple characters? Like, uh, Korra and, like, one other character. Alright. Hell's Miz? Just Korra? Ah, okay. Kind of weird. Oh, do I need to go through there? Oh, wait. I'm not using up a key. I was thinking it was Dragon Quest 1 for a second. Looks like we're heading to a basement. When the moon becomes full, so will the ocean. All is decided. This is the Tower of the Moon. Now it's best to open that treasure box. That is decided. We found the moon fragment. Yeah, we're gonna need that. She was added on the launch of the season, and the rest of the characters were mid-season. Can we surround the ghouls? Okay, just not the living corpses, okay. So is there another batch of characters gonna be added at the end of the season? If so, that's probably when they would try to add like Sokka. As well as maybe, like, a couple other side characters. So we got the moon fragment. That's all we need to get here. But we do need to grab every other treasure chest here. Probably next season, but that will be an entirely different girl. Okay. 
So is it normal that whenever a collab happens, there's one character, there's one batch at the beginning of the season and one at the mid-season? Or is this an exception? Gotta be careful. All right, let's focus on getting rid of the Hell's Messenger. Let's see if I can set this Gargoyle to sleep. Yeah, good. Good, got him killed. And let's heal Kane. Okay, who leveled up? Kane, level 18. Strength by 1, speed by 3, vitality by 1, HP by 3, MP by 3. And he learned Firebane. That's a better fire spell. Single target, though. We found the a prayer ring. Ooh, an extra. Okay, there's more treasure here. Um, I only have one more slot. Because we did not get the achievement. Hmm. There's a hidden wall somewhere, isn't there? Come on. They didn't see me. I think I could just run. Good. Seems like an exception. Okay. I think they were allowed to use both shows, and they felt like they need someone from Korra's show. Hmm. Obviously, Korra herself. Avatar is more popular than Korra, so they went more on, the pro on that probably. I mean, makes perfect sense. More. But I just would have thought they'd probably go with, like, at least two characters from Korra. But I also haven't seen Korra myself, so I don't know who they would choose. But if normally they only do like two or three characters per season whenever they do a collab and it's usually like, you know, the one batch of characters. Yeah, this probably is an exception, isn't it? And you know, it probably makes sense why they cho they didn't go with Sokka in the sense that every other character there is a vendor. So they could probably reuse some animations. Whereas Sokka uses a boomerang. Oh, the vampires can call for help? Or not the vampires, the pterodactyls. Oh, they are called vampires. That's what threw me off. Depends on who's collabing. My hero got like six characters. Okay. If I'm correct, Naruto only got like Naruto and Sasuke. So, okay, it is based on what collab it is. But it seems like typically they only get like two or three characters in. Based on the little that I know of Fortnite. There's a hidden room somewhere. That's just another way down. Maybe it's on this floor. Back on the first floor. I don't know. No. I do not know if we need to go back to the basement. Oh, we are on the first floor now. Okay. Yeah, we need to find another way up. Dead end. Let's see. Oh, they had Sakura and Kakashi too. Okay. Never mind. I thought they only had Naruto and Sasuke. Did I go up here? Yeah, I did. I did go up here. Oh, I didn't go this way. We found gold, and there's still treasure somewhere. Okay. 
Oh no, I can't use sleep or surround. Okay, we'll just go for the attack. Didn't they do a Dragon Ball collab? Who did they add for that? Obviously Goku and Vegeta, but was that it or did they do a couple others? Because I'm pretty sure they did a Paper Bomb Kunai was the collab weapon. Makes sense. Actually, ex because I don't play Fortnite, explain to me how, like, some of this works. Like, if you don't, let's say, you boot up the game and you missed a season. If you wanted that skin slash, in this case, the Paper Bomb Kunai, is it possible to get it again? Or do you have to wait for them to do, like, a rerun sort of thing? Antidote. And heal more. There's another chest somewhere. I might have to come back later. You can surround these guys. I think once we're done with this tower, I think we're going to call it. So skins might get a rerun, but the weapons won't. They show up during matches for one season, then they cut them out. Oh, okay, so it's not a permanent unlock sort of thing. Okay. There we go. And we got a defense seed. There we go. I got everything. Outside. And let me, uh... Pull it up. Let's see. Where is it? Pull it up. Here we go. Get all the items inside the Tower of the Moon. Alright. That's all I really wanted to get done. Before I call it, let's see if I can get the... Wait a minute. Do I even have room? I gotta use a medicinal herb. Okay, let's see if we can get the. Let's see if we can get the arm, uh, the water angel's robe, whatever. Because I should be able to now. It's not ready. Okay, there's some other trigger. There must be a sequence trigger somewhere. Alright, I'm gonna use the inn, get my MP back, and in my health and all that. One second. have to come back to this town later, but for now, we'll save that for later. Dragon Ball got Goku, Vegeta, Goku Black, Beerus, Frieza, Cell, Bulma, Gohan, and Piccolo. Wow. That's a lot of characters. Alright. Remember, don't use the inn. Not here. Don't use it. Luckily, there's a vault here. I might as well take care of this. No, that's an item shop. Deposit like all of my items and gold. Uh, six, one. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Dang it. Let's try that again. That's enough for a sort of light, but I won't need that. Okay, items. Let's just get rid of some stuff. Uh, Watergate key I don't need. And I 
don't want the strength seed just yet. The Kamehameha was the collab weapon. I mean, that makes perfect sense why that would be there. But like you said, the weapons are only for that season and nothing else. The, the skins you can get again if you missed it. Magic nut in there. We want to put... No. Keep the moon fragment. Use one of the prayer rings. Throw that in there. We'll save it for later when I need it. And then, does Maria need to throw in anything? Let's see. Keep that. Keep, 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 keep. Okay, both defense seats. Alright, cleared out my inventory, time to make a save. Actually, I'll do one thing while I'm here that I could have done last time. Alright, hold on. Uh, stop, step guard. What a surprise! No one's ever visited me here before. You should make an effort to journey through the Traveler's Gate in this town. You'll find that gate is the only way to reach Rome. Believe me. I know from experience. If you do believe me, then search for the monolith's exit. Telling you that there is a way out of that building. <laughs> Alright. Don't use the inn. Alright. I'm gonna make a save, and I'm gonna call it. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at ScottBot64 Stream Archives. Yeah, tomorrow we can get a lot more done. We can maybe even get through to the Cave of the Ro Cave of Rhone, but I don't know if we'll beat it. We'll see. We'll see how much I can do tomorrow. Anyway. Have a good day. Later.